Okay, I'm just going to show you a little bit about how this works. So we have um, four of these uh, little infrared transmitters, essentially. Um, the uh, scoreboard is connected up to a power source, or in this case I've got it, the power source is also the USB cable. And uh, what that can do is that it can actually provide uh, the score so far to the screen here. We'll see that in a little bit. Um, that way, if you're operating this, you normally have this toward your students, and you'd be um, uh, maybe having this here so you could see what the scores were and make sure that you pressed everything correctly. Uh, the first thing you do is you press the um, start or reset button, and that will, um, uh, well, let me just plug it in and start over here. Uh, when it first boots up, it'll come up with a score of zero on everything. And uh, we'll press this uh, start or reset button. Once it gets done displaying that, it is now in a continuous loop to look for an IR signal. In fact, it will not do anything until it receives an IR signal or you reset the thing. So now if I press um, the blue, I get a short little beep. And uh, it locks out the other controllers. So it's now looking to see whether the blue is going to answer correctly or not. Um, so whoever buzzes in first is going to be um, the one that gets uh, shown there. Um, I can then press, uh, let's say the blue answered incorrectly, so I press the no, they get a signal or a tone that uh, indicates they did not answer correctly, kind of a downward tone, and they get two points taken off. Uh, let's say that now uh, yellow is going to buzz in, and they actually answer correctly, well, they get another tone that is escalating, and they get one point. The reason I did uh, this to have a negative two if you get something wrong and a plus one if you get something right is I found that students, uh, if you didn't have any penalty, they were just sitting there clicking as fast as they could without really thinking about what the answer is. And now let me see if I can uh, bring up the serial monitor again here. And um, we'll just show you, um, it shows so we get our, get ready, and then uh, yellow buzzed in, and we can then um, say get your bu buzzers ready. Now we see yellow team has one point now. Should I come into the screen? Yeah, come on into the screen there. And uh, now I'm going to hit the blue button. You see blue buzzed in, and um, then they didn't answer uh, correctly or we just skip that so I just press the reset button again blue buzzes in and this time they answer incorrectly and um, they, you have the um, blue with a minus two now so anyway that's kind of the basics of how it works and um, it uh, seems to work pretty well in a small classroom here